Welcome back. I hope you are doing wonderful. As a part of this lecture, we'll understand Hive built-in functions. In Hive, we have three types of built-in functions. They are user-defined functions and we have user-defined aggregate functions and the third one is user-defined table generating functions. All of them are simple yet very interesting. Let's see them one by one. In case of user-defined functions, what it does is it works on a single row and it also provides the output as a single row. Means it takes the input one row and it gives the output also one row. We have some of the functions like trim, concat, length, all these functions take the inputs as a single row and outputs a single row. We do have other functions like round, floor. Interesting here is we have user defined aggregate functions. What do they do? They just do the opposite of the UDF. They take multiple rows as input and gives a single row as output. Some of the functions like count some average. When you want to count multiple rows, you can see if you say count and provide this particular column name, it will count all the rows. One, two, three, four, and five. It will give the count as five. Next interesting function is user defined table generating functions. What it does is it just does the opposite of user defined aggregating functions. What they do is they take the single row as a input and provides the multiple rows as a output. You may be wondering how is it going to happen? I have always seen count sum and average, but how come a function can take a single row and give a multiple rows? We'll see with some couple of examples. Then it will be intuitive for you to understand. We have functions like explode and pass explode, which takes the single row as a input and gives the multiple row as a output. We have explode function, which is very often used as a part of the hive. Here, explode functions will flatten the data in arrays and also maps. What does it mean? We'll take an example and see that. If you see here, in a real life scenario, you have a manager column and you have a subordinate list. As long as you just want to maintain this list, this is fine. But assuming that you want to apply a some five percentage of hike to all the employees, then we cannot leave with this. This is an array, right? So 5% of hike need to be applied to this guy, this guy, and also this guy. The same is the case with other things also. In that case, what we need is something like this, where we need to have a, all the subordinates like Rahul, Kshitij, Rishabh, and all these things, so that we can apply this 5% hike across all the subordinates. That is where explode function comes into picture. What it does is it takes a particular column, whether it has a arrays or maps, and it explodes into a, a multiple rows. For example, this is the single row here, and we have got three rows. We can also do this with the maps. For example, here, this particular column is of map. We have a key and value. 
in this case if we explode this this one row would become these three rows you can see office and 271b number of reports 8 salary 1 this one row is exploded as a three rows this is a map data type when you explode we'll get a virtual table formed by the exploded view here beauty is we can join these lateral views with the original tables remember they are almost like a temporary tables we can use them for any joins and any querying and all but data wouldn't be there as a part of the hdfs so explode creates the lateral views and they can be joined with the original table to have a complex queries this is the lateral view of this particular column as we discussed this can be made a virtual table using a lateral view and we can use this and join this with the original table in this case we can see this is the lateral view and this is the original table both of them can be joined can also query individual columns from this result it is not that just because i have joined this with the original table i need to query all of them together that is not really necessary if i want i can query only the individual column itself wonderful then we understood the different types of the inbuilt functions in hive and also we understood how the explode works in hive you have a wonderful time thank you mm -hmm.